Hello, and welcome back to Rick's Kits. I am building an Avro Lancaster Mark 1 3 bell kit in 172nd. I've ordered new decals for it and some masks for the glazing, so I should be here at some point this week, hopefully. Um. I haven't built an airplane for a little while, I think the last airplane I built other than the little Huey helicopter was uh, a 132nd scale B-51 Mustang for the under 1000 group build. So, let's crack on. Okay, so we're back, we've got... Um, Interior painted up, well, sort of. And it's quite a very detailed model, actually, for uh, what it is. I wasn't expecting this much detail on it. Um, well, I can pass to later on in. Let's go to later on in the uh, instructions. You can see down here that we've got engines. Finely nicely detailed engines in there as well. Um, which I'm quite impressed have because you can have the covers open if you want uh, and you can also have bomb loads with the doors open or shut uh, I'm going to be hanging this off my wall so frankly I won't be having any bomb loads um, but yeah some very nice detail on this kit quite impressed um, we were doing the cockpit area, we've got some decals to apply, I've got a couple of radio decals to go on here, we've got the cockpit de decal to go on there, and we've got the decal for uh, the engineer, the motors, and everything that they motor, the engines, not motors. The engines with the decal that'll go on there, so that's where I'm at the moment. Got a bit of more painting up to do. Um, seat belts and bits on on the seat, bit of brown in there for the leather seats, etc. But that's where we're at. And uh, when I've done some more, I'll let you know. So now yeah, we're back again. Uh, so. Looking through the kit and at some uh, pictures of Lancaster bombers, um, I noticed that uh, actually you've got one seat, which is obviously the pilot seat. Now on takeoff, um, there would always be a. I would. Con I'm going to assume a co-pilot, and. From what I could see, there was no nowhere for this uh, person to sit. Uh, it turns out that on the side of the aircraft, get it to focus. There we go. Just here, there should be a co-pilot seat. Well, it wasn't here. So basically, what I've done is I've uh, scratch built a little bit of uh, plastic card, a couple of bits of plastic card to make up the co pilot seat on that side of the aircraft. Uh, it's probably the only bit of scratch building I'm going to do. Uh, so we've got all the glazing in on this side, and we've got all the glazing in on this side. And we have finished up the area um also i've noticed in photos that that yellow circle which you see on the pilot seat not sure what it's for but generally it should be on the back here so i'm assuming that uh, whoever there's all your decals whoever did that um didn't quite figure out that that's actually where it's supposed to be um, I'll get this thing to focus properly. 
Oh man, there you are. So you got the radio operator's position there. You got the cockpit up front. You got the seat belts on the seat there. Uh, God, here we go again. Usual. No focus. Why is things too bright? Try again. Yeah, seat belts are on. So all I've got to do now is get this thing buttoned up and move on to the next stage of the build, which is uh, getting the wings and the engines and stuff together. Um, that's going to be it for now on this one. So I'll see you in the next one. And I just want to say thanks to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you, especially to all the old hands and the new subscribers that have recently joined the channel. Uh, thank you very much. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.